there are three reasons why Extinction Rebellion is advocating for citizens' assemblies rather than open assemblies. The first of these is that open assemblies attract uh, the people who have the loudest voices, the most partisan views, and the strongest beliefs. This makes them very different from the general public and it ensures that the conclusions reached by an open assembly will typically speak of and represent much more extreme views than those that would be reached if the people in an open assembly were actually more representative of the general population. And let me be clear, there are only reasons to applaud and commend those of us who devote their free time to activism and civil society engagement. However, that same choice that they make to devote their free time to activism and civil society engagement also makes them very different from the general population. Second, if the recommendations of an assembly of any kind on the climate and ecological emergency have to be well received and well accepted by the general population, then it is this process will be much easier if the people sitting in the citizens' assembly are more similar to the general population than those you'd get in an open assembly, for the same reasons I just described. So it would really help with the acceptability and the democratic legitimacy of the proposals being generated by the assembly working on the climate and ecological emergency. Third, what do you think would happen if we were to run an open assembly on a high-stakes topic that poses an existential threat to the interests of multi-billion dollar special interest groups such as the fossil fuel industry? You can bet that the people in that room are not mainly going to be well-meaning citizens taking an, a few uh, weekends off their busy schedules to make themselves heard. Instead, you will have buses and buses of hired uh, uh, astroturfed uh, campaigns arriving in the so-called open assembly for the sheer purpose of manipulating the process and subverting their recommendations. Citizens' assemblies, by comparison, offer us substantially added protection against these attempts at manipulation and subversion of the process. Why? Again, because the people sitting in the room are selected for a civic lottery the process is not open to the general public and therefore special interest groups, moneyed special interest groups cannot send in crowds and crowds to parrot their talking points. These, in short, are the three key reasons why Extinction Rebellion advocates for a citizens' assembly rather than an open assembly on the climate and ecological emergency. Let us be clear. Open assemblies are beautiful things. They allow social movements to make decisions together and they often transmit a sense of empowerment to the participants who often for the first time feel like they have been heard speaking about politics. So I am by no means <laughs> claiming that one is better than the other. Instead, what we have here by Extinction Rebellion is a conscious choice that for this particular task of making policy recommendations on a high-stakes topic, it is preferable to use, in this particular setting, a citizens' assembly rather than an open assembly.